Hey YouTube, Ben here with Pacific Tac West. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Microroni Gen 4 for my Glock 17, but safety first, no rounds in the chamber, no magazine, gun is completely empty. And today we're going to be looking at the Gen 4 Microroni. Again, this will be a desktop review. I will show a video later on about how it's performed at the range. But the cool thing about this one is not only will it work with the Glock 17, it'll work with the 19, 23, and 32 in addition to the 17, 22, and 31. One size fits all for the compact and full size pistols from Glock. It will work with those numbers I just said in gens three, four, and five. It will not work with the compensated versions, but it will work with the standard versions of the gen three, four, and five of the 17, 22, 31, 19, 23, and 32 pistol. So I'll do an up close and personal with this here in a moment, but just want to go over a couple of the highlights here. YRS has a really cool package that they put together. They call it the Pro Kit. Essentially, it's all the accessories that you want for it. It's going to come with a th thumb rest. It's going to come with a micro red dot sight. It's going to come with a flashlight. It's going to come with a really cool custom fitted case, sling point attachment, and the sling for it. Um, everything pretty much short of whatever pistol you're going to use for it. Um, one thing that they, they did and I actually like this is that the charging handle is now in there. So it's something that you don't have to worry about losing because with the Gen 3, you lose the charging handle, essentially renders it useless. Um, you can't charge it with the pistol in the device itself. But in the case of this one, again, I'll do close up here so you can see what I'm talking about. But the charging handle is in there. Essentially just put the pistol in, close up. Make sure that you push the button for opening, apparently for uh, closing as well, but you're good to go. It still has the uh, folding stock. Quick note, the one you're looking at is the NFA version that will require you to have an SBR tax stamp on the pistol before putting it into the device. So let's go ahead and uh, take an up close and personal look at this and go over some of the redesigns they did on the Gen 4, how it differs from the Gen 3 and how this uh, one size fit all model uh, as, a, as a step up from the Gen 3. So here again you have the Micro Roni Gen 4 for my Glock 17, which has been SBR'd again. Nothing in the chamber, no magazine. Go ahead and close that up. And what I was trying to show you before is how with the redesign, the charging handle is now incorporated in to the actual kit itself. So there's nothing to really lose here. Um, with this version, they actually gave it a, an FDE color, so it's kind of a cool subtle accent, at least I think so. But for the, uh, the installation of it, I mean, it's just as simple as it was before, except that you don't have a piece to worry about losing. So again, just simply drop pistol in, push it in, and push forward. Push down there, the other guys down. And again, ambidextrous, so whether you're lefty or righty. But here is a cool thing that I really liked about the redesign. Um, they left the slide release open. On the Gen 3, you might recall there's a, a toggle button. I don't really know what to call it, but something that's supposed to come over this to make it so you have a, a larger over-enhanced button to operate the slide. And it didn't work all the time, so I'm glad that with the redesign of this, they just love this area opened. Um, very similar to what actually is on the uh, KPOS Scout. Um, some of the accessories that, um, that I've gone ahead and put on this, aside from a primary arms red dot optic, is the thumb rest, both sides there, and their uh, flashlight. Now, there are two different versions of the flashlight. While the Gen 3 flashlight will fit in here, the pistol will not. There's been a redesign in terms of the actual housing for the light itself that is slightly different than the one that was used on the Gen 3 Micro Roni. So if you're going to get one of these thinking you can take all the accessories you have on your Gen 3 and put it onto the Gen 4, it's not going to work. You're going to need to get the uh, Micro Roni Gen 4 flashlight if you get the Gen 4 carbine kit. And again, YRS Inc. has a very nice overall pro package that includes not just the case, 
the Macaroni Gen 4, a red dot optic, the thumb rest, the light, but also you get the uh, sling point attachment and the sling itself. So a pretty good deal. Um, again, that's at wiresinc.com and it's under their pro kit for the Micro Ronnie SBR conversion kit. Again, this is the NFA version of the Micro Ronnie. So let's go back and I'll give you my final thoughts. So the Gen 4 Micro Ronnie carbine conversion kit, an upgrade to already a pretty cool package available for a Glock pistol. Um, there's a lot of Glock enhancements out there. This is one that I see is actually useful, taking a pretty simple platform being a Glock pistol itself and converting it to a, a very effective carbine package. Um, again, if you're gonna do this, make sure you get the tax stamp for your pistol before putting it into the Micro-Rani conversion kit itself. Um, quick recap, like how they left the slide release exposed here without having their, uh, their button over it, which didn't always work. Cool how they built in the charging handle, so one less thing to lose. Wish they had kept the design up front for the uh, the flashlight the same, but again, if you like the flashlight on the Gen 3 and you're gonna wanna have it on the Gen 4, you're gonna need to buy the Gen 4 housing unit for the flashlight. One thing I forgot to go over on the up close and personal, so I'll do so now, is on the muzzle, I don't know if you can see it there, but there's a small torque screw. That essentially is what allows this piece to move in and out to adjust for either a 1923 or 32 or 17, 22, 31, depending on if you're gonna go with a compact or the full-size pistol. In this case, it's a, it's a full-size pistol I'm demonstrating for you today. But overall, great upgrade from the Gen 3. Um, a lot of the other accessories still work. YRS has a fantastic package that includes not only the carbine, but also the sling, the sling point attachment, a micro red dot sight, the thumb rest attachments, and the light, plus uh, what appears to be a custom cut hard case for the micro ronnie so it's easier to take to and from the range of course but if you are looking for a, an sbr project this is a very simple and cost effective way to take a, a pretty reliable pistol and convert it into a, a really reliable sbr from pacific tac west thanks for watching please subscribe and be sure to check back for future uploads